Hi, this is going to be my quick demonstration of my submission for the Slash GraphQL hackathon. Uh, for my submission, I built Timetable Builder. Um, this is mainly a tool used for students so they can generate their timetables each term uh, very quickly without spending much time. So here I have a couple courses um, that I'm going to select here. Uh, I'm going to select Introduction to CS. I'm going to select Data Structures and Algorithms. And I'm going to select Software Design. So as you can see, each course that I chose here has multiple options for the lecture time. Uh, software Design is offered Mondays from 1 to 3 and or Wednesdays from 9 to 11. So there's two options here. And you can see each course has multiple options. And as you can imagine, uh, choosing a timetable would be fairly difficult when you have, say, five or six courses and maybe some practicals and tutorials and way more uh, lecture times are available. So after I chose these courses, I can press Generate Timetables, and that will generate every possible uh, conflict-free arrangement of courses there are. So as you can see here is the first arrangement, and I can scroll through the eight choices. This is the second arrangement, third arrangement, fourth arrangement, and so on. Um, so as you can imagine, there'll be a lot more options here uh, when there's more courses that I pick. If I pick um, all six courses and I press generate, there'll be 24 options. Um, so a feature that I couldn't get to was filtering. So we can filter these courses, um, let's say no courses on Monday. So it would only display me timetables that have no courses on Monday. Uh, we can also do something like no courses before 9 a.m. So they'll filter all the options here that are not that have uh, options uh, before 9 a.m. Um, so I didn't, couldn't get to those features. I am working in team of one, but this is it for the minimum viable product. So a quick look about courses. Um, here's all the courses that are available. Um, we can filter by discipline. So let's see all the math courses here. Um, we can also view all the statistics course here. Uh, and so on, and computer science courses. So in addition, we can also view the details of each course. Uh, here you can see where each lecture is offered, the location of the lecture, and which instructor will be teaching that lecture. Um, yeah, and that's about it for my demo. Uh, here's a quick overview of the GraphQL schema that I've used. And that's it for my demo. Thanks for listening.